uh, app on my phone. And, uh, apparently, somebody I'm not gonna I'm not gonna name the the station, but it was a TV station that ran, I guess, uh, uh, in a sense, a press release slash article um, on on their own part yesterday, uh, late in the afternoon, in regards to the terror attack in New York, and they were basically trying to demonize the general public and say, well, there's fear of an outlash and backlash towards, you know, Muslim immigrants now just because of the terror attack. Mm -hmm. And there were so many people firing back at him saying, um, maybe you should focus on the victims of the terror attack and the people that lost their lives in that attack versus attacking, you know, the American public and saying that they're going to backlash against Muslims because there's no factual proof evidence or anything else to contradict that. So get off your fucking high horse. No shit. <laughs> there you go. America's ghost is bringing you facts of opinions. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, uh, I'm kind of looking at BBC, whatnot, uh, on the gun crime in the UK. <laughs> so apparently, gun <laughs> violence is starting to fucking pop up around the UK. That was released oh, 30 minutes ago. Huh? Well, I might have to play a short. Wait, clip I think of- they had gun laws that restricted gun ownership, except for I think police. All right. All right, and yeah, you know, some. You know, and this is just my opinion. You know, some of these gun ranges and stuff that you go into, they have a military and police section that you have to show, you know, where you're feeling away. If you're a vet, then, of course, you got to have the blue card. You know, not the card they give you when you first get out. You know, if you're by a post, you can get in and, and commissary privileges and shit, but... Wow. <laughs> Some of these dudes are just... Well, yeah. <laughs> Never ceases to to amaze me. That's for damn sure. You don't ever know what the fuck's going to happen out here in the <laughs> the general public and shit, man. It's, uh, it's fucking phenomenal sometimes. But, uh... And, uh... Yeah, I've got, uh, got some guest speaking for myself to do. Be doing on the uh, 18th of the month with uh, Widow Sons MC. So if you're a veteran or a widow of a vet or widower, you know, guy, female, whatever, how you want to call it, you know, the Widow Sons MC is a, is, is a great, great motorcycle club, man. They're, uh, they're all about. You know, trying to help out their fellow brothers and sisters and whatnot, especially the widows, because shit, man, you got a loved one that took care of you, took care of your kids and, and stuff like that. You know, they they end up passing, and you know, a lot of these, some of these people, man, start to freak out. You know, and Dave is is come up with a really really great idea to be able to keep this facility up and running and. Let the veterans actually have a chance to, you know, clean up, get fair-minded and whatnot. They don't just stick you in there and let you down, <clears throat> fight those struggles of taking your medicine like you should because that's that's a big problem with opioids, you know, the the pain, pain pills and stuff like that because some of us actually need it like myself, you know, not trying to put myself on the high horse about it, but... You know, some of us have so much issues with, you know, a limb that was lost or resalvaged or something like that. There's just, <laughs> there's just pain. <laughs> you don't feel heat, cold, something dropping on it or something of the sort. But when the fucking weather changes, boy, do you, you definitely, definitely feel that sucker then. That's for damn sure. <laughs> and, uh, we want to welcome, uh... Like I said, David from, uh, uh, shit, um, he, he hikes with, uh, Innovator Warriors, uh, Stephanie Parks Hiking Group, which is badass, uh, there's a good way to get, you know, hang out with your fellow, fellow brothers and sisters, some of them are still in, but majority of them are actually retired, um, if you come over here to... The Greenville area and whatnot, and tell them that you're here to 
redo your ID card or something like that. You know, these guys take care of a Ricky Tick. But you got to have that mind frame that, you know, these people are going to help. You know, I get it all the time. Uh, fuck the VA here, fuck the VA this, that, and the other. It's like, well, you know, kind of something uh, Jeff bumped onto last night is you got to let your family know, man. They're the ones that sit there and go through this with you every single day, and they have the right to know, I mean, what causes you to be a dick that day, or why is it that you just seem so numb, and, and whatnot. You got to push and fight, push and fight. Get it stuck in your head that something positive is going to happen, and it'll happen. Now, if you're one of these non-motivational people to where they kick you out, <laughs> your show's pretty much gone. And, uh, you know, appreciate uh, the big day and, and the better exchange, man, because that's something that we could use. Um Time slots are yet to uh, to be determined. Uh, we're hooking them up with uh, spots on the uh, actual website. You all right, dude? Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I just got a fucking message from my cousin on Facebook. He's listening to the show this morning. and <laughs> He sent me a message earlier, and I was going to give him a shout-out, and I wasn't even very- I can think about. I was trying to get a copy of my DD two fourteen out, and all of a sudden I get a text message on Facebook saying, "You're a dick every day, laughing my ass off." And in a sense, he he is right. I am a dick every fucking day, but at the same time, he knows. Um, he kind of he kind of knows where I'm coming from because I'm a smart ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I mean, we'll, him and I will talk about stuff and. and I'll sound like an asshole or a dick, but he knows I love him, and I'll, I'll say shit just to fuck with him. So it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're we're all a dick or an ass in some kind of way, man. But that's what makes us special, you know. I, I'm looking at you and be like, you know what? You can bitch and complain about your power bill and all this other shit. Oh, I got cut off. I don't know what the fuck happened. Hey, man, go look at your bill. It'll give you a summary why the fuck it got cut off. Uh, yeah. If you didn't pay it. <laughs> That's number one. Well, I didn't want them to do it because it's going to screw our credit up. I'm like, dude, you don't get credit just by looking at a fucking credit card. Or writing a check for that matter. <laughs> I mean, holy shit. Pay cash. Get your damn hoodie. You know, sit down yep. and, and be famous. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but that's, you know, the Dangerous Grounds Network, you know, we're here to extend that helping hand. And, you know, show people that we are here to help. Because I will be everywhere. Like, if somebody wanted to do a show from Fort Benning or do one up in Fort Drum or whatnot, my ass is fucking game to be there. You know, not only is, you know, my nonprofit, Branded Warriors, you know, of course, affiliated with DGN. They got their own commercial. I paid for it. So, you know, it, it's it's nice to see that there's a lot of people out there that has to recognize us. And, you know, especially branded warriors. So that way we can get that positive, motivational, you know, tattoo done, done, sit there and, and take selfies while they're busting out laughing because the last female <laughs> that I was sitting there with, dude, she had every bit of a circle, maybe just a little bit bigger than, than my pinky nail. But uh, I told her, I was like, you might want to, you know, Raise your uh, raise your profile pick up a little bit so everybody can see that beautiful face that uh they'll be coming to the radio network here pretty soon. Uh, we got Dog Tad Dave set up, so uh, I think uh, his time slot. I have to go back and look at the the website, but I got everybody's uh everybody's show is up on the website. The very last page before you start uh, getting into the uh, the black side of uh, Facebook. So to speak, um, there is an actual um, section to. Oh, hell, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> Fuck, I hate when that happens. <laughs> You're going on something and you stop yourself and you don't remember what was going to be said. Son of a bitch. <laughs> hate when that shit happens, man. Fucking big ass squirrel. 
I mean, them motherfuckers nuts was clean <laughs> singing Merry Christmas them nuts were so big. Uh, don't, uh, another thing too, don't don't forget. I mean, I don't know how many people will do it, but or how many people would want to do it. But AFES is offering on Veterans Day and from thereafter uh, online shopping for all honorably discharged veterans of any branch of service. They're offering online shopping to honorably discharged uh, combat vets or injured vets. Vets in general. As long as you got an honorable discharge from the service, you're good to go. Well, that counts for me, Ed. <laughs> I got all my shit hanging on a lot. I love how people want to sit there and call somebody stolen valor. I was like, you need proof? Yeah, where's your where's your proof at? Snap, snap, snap. There's my shadow box. There's my you know discharge paper paper, and there's my. Certificate says that I am 100% completely retired from the United States Army. You know, good shit. Don't question my ass. Fuck you. <laughs> but anyway, and uh, we definitely... Actually, will... uh... Oh, there. Okay. Yeah? Uh, fucking service is spotty right now. No, I, I actually got, uh... I got, uh... My uh, DD-214 that I, I got a spare. I made a copy of it at the house, and I have it on my fucking uh, shit. But my county, just like most counties, if I'm not mistaken, uh, I had mine taken down and put on file at the at the courthouse. Right. And, I mean, with my ID from my county, because now I, I don't know how many fucking veteran ID cards you have, but... I got like fucking three of them bitches. <laughs> I got, uh, I got actually I <laughs> kept my cat card. I didn't, uh, I didn't let them keep it. I actually asked them. I was like, can I, can I keep that to put in my shadow box? And they were like, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, no problem. Talk to nobody. We did this because everybody's going to want to keep their old one. I'm like, I'm not saying shit. <laughs> I was like, I'm keeping mine for the simple fact, you know, she pulled my, she pulled my head out of her ass, which is a good thing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she's just an adorable dog, dude. She, uh, if you want to meet, if you want to meet there, Miss Layla, <laughs> our pooch of the year, <laughs> y'all make it out to, uh, y'all make it out to the Greenville uh, Municipal Airport right here in the great town of Greenville, and uh, they're expecting about a hundred plus, and. Uh, We'll be doing autographs and stuff like that with uh, with Madison and and uh, welcoming more people onto the the network, man. Who knows? Somebody somebody might want to give a shout out or whatnot, which is cool. And uh, you know, some people just want to be you know recognized. Period, which is cool. We'll recognize everybody. Go to the chat group. You know, uh, if you hit the if you hit the link that I post up in the morning times. Uh, and you don't see that little chat group symbol, click on the title of the show, and it'll bring you in. It'll ask you to authorize it, of course. And then uh, then it'll bring you in, man. Share the show out. You know, just take a tea groups and stuff that people are avid listeners of yourself, and we'll get in there and we'll keep rocking the fuck off, man. It's all about teamwork and collaboration. <laughs> but, yep. Uh, shit, man. What else is new yep. around, around your neighborhood? Shit. Uh, I don't know if you heard about the Colorado incident or not, but the yeah. uh, Walmart Super Center, they got shot up. Guy walked yeah. in and shot some people and, and fired off some rounds and whatnot. And I don't know how they could do got away with it, but, I mean, it was apparently in a big-ass shopping center. And you know Walmart everywhere. Walmart's everywhere. They got fucking security cameras when you walk in. They got them by the registers. They got them outside in the parking lot. This motherfucker managed to walk in and walk out after firing off shots and wasn't even identified. Damn. Like, they, they, nice. they just released it today that they supposedly know who they're looking for. But there's no factual proof that that's, you know, the case. And so it's kind of like, what the fuck? I mean, you got a guy who comes into your Walmart and shoots the fucker up and... 
actually wounded uh, two or three people, and you can't identify the son of a bitch? 